Looks good. Can I help you with? No, sir. I'm good. Okay. Is there a particular reason you don't hear video on our cars? Uh, I'm not video on the car. Well, sitting here, we see you video camera pointing at our car, so obviously you're just... I'm not video on your car. Okay. What do you think of video? Anything I can see. So you choose the parking lot with a police officer to park your vehicle? No. Right here with the video camera, part of those cars. So, what were you doing? Uh, it, it might be detained. Am I under arrest or something? Did I do something your wrong? ID? Hey, am I under arrest? Did I no, do something I wrong? Risk. Okay, I'm just going to go on about my business, sir. Is there a reason you guys are following me? Walk around the station. I guess the same reason you're videoing the police station. Well, you're not videoing the police station. I know. I'm following you around the police station video. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Officer Jackson. Oh, good to meet you. Your name? Sergeant Olivier. Good to meet you. What's your name? Would you like to give me a tour of the interior of the station? I can't do that. I don't do that. PCR does that. Oh. Uh -huh. You call that and make an appointment. Okay. I'll, I'll see about doing that. We introduce right. ourselves. What's your name? Um, I really don't want to give that information. Okay. Right? It's, it's well, then we'll continue to follow you around the station. It's kind of senseless. I'm not here to do anything wrong. I, in this day and time, there's I, no such thing as senseless. When somebody's the, videotaping the personal vehicles of police officers, I didn't. I did not videotape sir, the personal. I know for a fact, you did because I sit there and watched you do. Would you want to bet, sir? Okay, let there's me see no your video. I, I say, would you want to bet? No, I don't need a bet. Well, I well, you, you, you saw me do it. Would you want to bet? I'll tell you what I took a picture of. Sure. Okay. I took a picture of the sign that says sworn officers, uh, parking only, and I took a picture of the Beaumont police unit. I did not photograph anybody's personal okay. vehicle. I have no interest in anybody's personal vehicle. So can I explain our concern? I, I understand your concern. There, your camera's pointing toward a parking lot that is for officers' personal vehicles. Now, if you've been film, just been filming over by the where all the fenced-in area, where all the mark units are, okay, that's not that much of an issue. But when... Uh, officers' personal vehicles, it appears, are being photographed or filmed, then it raises our concern because why would somebody need that information and what officers are driving, what their license plate numbers are, and various things like that? Because then it makes us wonder, if they want that, what are they doing if they need that information? Is any of that so top secret or that? classified? I mean, you put, license plate, you put license plates on cars to identify the cars, right? Yes, sir. My car has a license plate on it. Yes, sir, it does. does your car have a license plate yes, on it? Yes, it does. And I, I don't see what the issue is. I, I've explained to you that I have no ill intent. I didn't take pictures of any of the license plate numbers. Okay, you still not want to tell us who you are? That, that's not what I'm here for. Well, my issue with telling you who I am, now that you've you know, gone to this length, is that you're going to generate a report. You're, I'm not you're, going to generate you're, a report? You're, you're going to have to. You're going to have to do a, a, some kind of information-only report or send some over to an infusion center because I took pictures of a public building and that's just going to get me added to the terrorist watch list and, and I'm just not interested in any of that. Well, I'll tell you this much. I don't have access to any terrorist watch lists. No, but you generate reports for the Fusion Center. No, I don't. Uh, okay. I, I, I can be honest with you. I don't I, generate reports for, for the Fusion Center. And I pull up and I explain to you what, why I wanted to speak to you. Same reason why this officer wanted it, to speak. And, I, and I had no issue with him making contact. I, I explained to you that I'm not taking pictures of anybody's license plate. And you plate asked number. our name. We gave you ours, but yet you refused to give us yours. I, but I explained to you why I didn't want to give mine. Because you think I'm going to put and you we in explained to you why we don't want you taking videos of our officer's personal cars. And I told you I didn't take pictures of any of their personal cars. You know? I'd be willing to. I'd be willing to wager. I would be willing to wager on it. This day and time, I you know, don't believe in trusting a whole lot of anybody. Well, that's unfortunate because you it expect the public to trust you. It's unfortunate that there's several hundred officers a year that are killed. Uh, well, okay, <laughs> because there's more civilians killed by police officers in uh, 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 questionable circumstances than there are police officers killed by civilians. Uh, so. so and I would call you by your name, but since you won't tell us your name, you, you, we're not going to get into an argument. You, we're not going to argue semantics with you. We're and not and I'm not argue. trying to. I'm not trying to. Well, if you need something to put in your report to call me something, just call me good citizen. That's it. You know, I'm, I have no ill intent. Like I said, okay. I'm I'm just doing a review of the police station. That's it. What kind of a review? Just I mean, a, okay. can you explain you're doing a review Yeah, of the that's it. I, I told you. I'm, I'm a journalist gathering content for a story. That's it. You, previously, you didn't tell us you are a journalist. You have no kind of identification or credentials showing that you're a journalist. 
we'd be more than happy to get you in contact with our public community relations office to where they could speak with you if you are a journalist trying to do a story. We'd be more than happy to do that for you. Well, at the point that I'm ready to speak to them, I'll walk in the front door and ask for them. You know, I'm not at that point yet. Right now, I'm just getting, you know, B-roll footage of the station, of the fallen officers memorial out front, uh, the sign out back that said sworn officers parking, and uh, one of your patrol vehicles. That's, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not here to harm anybody. I'm not here to bother anybody. You never said you were here to harm anybody. We never said you were here to bother anybody. Well, you know, in this day and age, you know, with the, the way the government treats people's personal information, you now, know, see, I would think you could understand, you know, why somebody would be cautious in getting out that personal information. And I was trying to explain to you, we're not here to, to, to argue any of that or to do any of that. We're just... Well, I, I'm just we giving you an explanation for why I didn't want to identify myself. You know, uh, now they want to use the terrorist watch list and the no-fly list to deny people access to firearms. I mean, I, I think it's all out of control. That's my, that's my. Opinion. So, you know, I personally, I don't have a lot of control over any of that. I, unfortunately, neither do I. Um, but you know, I appreciate you guys taking time to talk to me. And if you want to continue to follow me, you know, that's that's your privilege. But uh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. I have no intent to break the law. I'm not going to go any place I'm not supposed to be. Only things I'll photograph are things that I can see from the public right away. You know, the eyes cannot trip that. So if you're good with that, you can go on about your business. If you're not, then you can continue to follow me and whatever you want to do. Okay. All right? All right. Okay, so the detective and the patrol officer are sitting under the tree over there. I believe they have called dispatch to uh, send out a patrol unit to come and deal with me. That's Beaumont PD following me around in an undercover car.